Hello friends, today we shall discuss mixing and compaction temperatures for asphalt binders. How to determine these temperatures for a mix? And these are important because volumetric properties of a mix may change with mixing and compaction temperature. Historically, asphalt line procedures have used equiviscous temperature ranges for, design, for selecting laboratory mixing and compaction temperatures. And the purpose of using this equiviscous temperature in laboratory mixed design procedure is to normalize the effect of asphalt binder stiffness on mixed volumetric properties. By using this procedure, a particular asphalt mixture of the same aggregate structure will exhibit very similar volumetric properties regardless of whether a hard or soft asphalt binder is used. In equiviscous temperature, the viscosity of the asphalt binder is determined at two test temperatures. And then a relationship is established between temperature and viscosity as shown here. And using this chart between viscosity and temperature, the compaction temperature is determined where the viscosity temperature line crosses the compaction viscosity range of 0.28 plus minus 0.3 pascal second. So that is the range of viscosity for compaction temperature. And similarly, mixing temperature range is corresponding to a viscosity range of 0.17 plus minus 0 0.02 pascal second. This is the mixing temperature range. This Asphalt Institute equiviscous temperature concept works well for unmodified binders. Increasing use of highly modified binders in road construction has necessitated consideration of a different method to get the compaction and mixing temperature. Because modified asphalt binders frequently result in unusually high equiviscous mixing and compaction temperatures, generally over 177 degrees centigrade. At these high temperatures, there are potential problems with binder degradation and increased binder stiffness during mixing process. And because of this, there may be problem in achieving the density due to low mix stiffness, maybe excess absorption of asphalt binder into some types of aggregates, drain down of asphalt binder in some coarse mixes and emissions concern at high temperatures. And because of these reasons, NCHRP report 910 suggests use of zero shear viscosity to determine the mixing and compaction temperature for modified binders. Now this zero shear viscosity is believed to be related to rutting and European research suggests that this viscosity simulates low shear rate in super paved gyratory compactor. Plot zero shear viscosity with temperature and determine mixing temp temperature at a zero shear viscosity of 3 pascal second and compaction temperature at a zero shear viscosity of 6 pascal second. Now determination of zero shear viscosity is a long procedure and therefore this document recommends for a simple and widely accepted procedure to determine compaction and mixing temperature of modified binders. Recent research compiled in NCHRP report 648 suggests two procedures to determine the compaction and mixing temperature for modified binders. One is phase angle procedure, another is steady state flow procedure. This phase angle procedure is performed by conducting a shear frequency sweep test from 1 to 100 radian per second at minimum three temperatures and then developing a master curve at 80 degrees centigrade and then determine the frequency where this phase angle is 86 degrees centigrade. Now this curve for a PG grade binder looks like this. On X axis you have frequency and on Y axis you have G prime and G double prime. Now G prime is a storage modulus and G double prime is a loss modulus. And ratio of these two is tan delta where delta is the phase angle. Now you can see the difference here. At low frequency, there is a long, large difference and it reduces at high frequency and again it decreases. Master curve for phase angle 
does not have a well defined shape and therefore it is advised to determine these two parameters and then take the ratio of g double prime and g prime to get tan alpha and corresponding to delta is equal to 86 degree centigrade tan delta will be around 14.3 so find out the frequency corresponding to the ratio equal to 14.3 and then you calculate mixing temperature using this equation and compaction temperature using this equation omega here is the frequency at phase angle of 86 degree and the temperature here by these equations is in Fahrenheit now for the data which I have shown just now the frequency corresponding to 86 degree phase angle is 0 0.00 0.9838 in per second and if you put these value this value in these equations you get the mixing temperature of 181 degree centigrade and compaction temperature 164 degree centigrade that is how this phase angle procedure is used to determine the mixing and compaction temperature the second method is dsr steady state flow procedure now here a shear stress sweep from 50 to 1000 pascal at a minimum three test temperatures is carried out to determine the steady state viscosity and then plot this viscosity as a function of temperature so it uses dsr dynamic shear geometer and the shear stress sweep is carried out or performed at a stress level of 52000 pascals and within this range we take five data points per log decade means log of 1000 minus log of 50 divided by 5 that is the interval of the stress and at each stress level we take 8 total data points at multiple temperatures from 88 degree centigrade to 112 degree centigrade normally a 3 minimum test temperatures plate size recommended is 25 millimeter with a gap of 0.5 millimeter and then you determine the viscosity at each stress level so it, if for each temperature you have these five stress levels and for each stress level you have the viscosity similarly for 94 100 106 and 112 make a plot between the viscosity and shear stress so this is the kind of plot you get at different temperatures for a pg grade binder now here this viscosity is important that is your steady state viscosity when the line becomes horizontal now plot these viscosities with temperature and you get this kind of state line equation log of viscosity on y axis and temperature on x axis and you get this equation choose this equation to calculate the compaction temperature and mixing temperature mixing temperature corresponding to viscosity of 0.17 plus minus 0 0.02 pascal second and compaction temperature corresponding to 0.35 plus minus 0 0.03 pascal second so if you use this line or equation you can get the mixing temperature range 151 to 153 degree centigrade and compaction temperature range 146 to 147 degree centigrade for these viscosities that is how we use the dynamic shear rheometer for steady state flow procedure now which method to be used out of these two steady shear flow and phase angle method what literature says that both methods provide reasonable mixing and compaction temperatures for modified and unmodified binders both are simple use existing equipment that is dsr and take less than one hour of time to complete the procedure now regardless of the method whether you use the phase angle method or steady shear flow method as far as institute recommends that laboratory mixing temperature should not exceed 350 degree fahrenheit or 177 degree centigrade the compaction temperature for majority of the binders is in the range of 135 to 155 degree centigrade now it should be noted here that these procedures do not apply to asphalt binders that have been modified with ground tire rubber and for these binders it is proposed to use suppliers recommendations to determine appropriate mixing and compaction temperature 
Ministry of Road Transport and Highways Specification 2013 suggests mixing temperature and rolling temperature for different grades of binder. Now these are unmodified binders. So mixing temperature is from 140 degree centigrade to 170 degree centigrade depending upon the grade of binder and these are the compaction temperature where only minimum temperature is given. After Beyond that, if the temperature falls below these limits, compaction will not be possible. What this document suggests that for modified binders, exact temperature depends upon the type and amount of modifier used and shall be adopted as per recommendations of the manufacturer. Another quote which deals with modified binders, IRC SP 53 2010 has suggested some ranges of mixing and compaction temperature for modified binders. Mixing temperature should be in the range of 150 to 170 degree centigrade and rolling temperature 115 to 155. Now these are indicative ranges only. Exact temperature should be determined as suggested in NCHRP report 648. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can write your suggestions and comments in the comment box.